Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Not For Broadcast Telethon. So, we're almost picking up where we left off. How did that make you feel? Which is feel like at the end of segment two. I ain't never gonna get a broad And like this cigarette commercial is playing. What are you smoking there, <laughs> And uh, Young almost... <laughs> he kind of dropped himself, I think. <laughs> Rather than being you know, seriously injured. Well, how could I? I never it heard of definitely looked that way. How would you like to try one? Alright. Well, why bother? The taste of lion cigarettes can't right, be that right. different from my regular <laughs> brand. You're talking crap, Johnny. Lion cigarettes are proven by medical science, too. Make you up to 51% more intelligent. Oh. Make you 70% wow. more attractive to women or homosexual men. And finally, make you fitter and healthier. You might have it's such an awesome cigarettes. parody of the 50s, well, it really is. <laughs> In fact, they'll decrease your chances by 100%. Nice. Give it a try, guy. Anything change over here? Nope. Hold on. <laughs> Something's happening. He's gonna become ho the Hulk, or oh. yeah, something like One it. One smoke of a lion's cigarette, and I feel like a new man. Yeah, and yep, it women just are, are automatically attracted to the guy. Yep, exactly. Don't mind me, Chan. Go cigarettes. <laughs> that was kind of like the subliminal advertising of those times, though. It really was. Even if you're not. <laughs> if you're not. <laughs> oh god. Is he okay? Young better live, man. What are they... Carrying? The fundraiser for dying children! Graham Bannon is still here! Call the music! If there's no audience, Graham Bannon doesn't dance. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the third part of the St. Fanny's Hospital's annual... Well, it's not annual, they're not going to do another one, are they? TV fundraiser for dying children. Uh, and dying national television, it seems. And, you know, speaking of dying, uh, is the child still dying? I'm pretty sure it is. And uh, looking at that, no more money has been raised while the advert has been playing. Um, so it looks like, to me, you continuing to do F all at home. There's two reasons for that. Hello. One, we don't have anybody in the phones. They're all backstage looking after Young, who you pushed off the ladder. Pretty sure he fell. And ah. secondly, we don't have the guy who changes the counter anymore. You pushed him off the ladder. Tell you what, do I have to do everything? You go back there, grab Young, bring her back in, put him over there, grab the girls, put them on the table. Then they can all do their stuff. Young can sit there twiddling his boxes. Great. He's only just woken up, and his neck might be broken. Doesn't have Holy to move his neck. Shit. Look, my neck stays perfectly still. Go and get him. I mean, that is unless you don't care about Sally Button. I mean, I assume you'll be donating your fee too. Yeah, I was the first to do it, Graham, about 20 minutes ago. Get off and get them. No more <laughs> long speeches. Bloody northerners. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, this is still happening. And we are still live. Taking your donations, if you can be bothered. If you want a girl to live, up to you. Oh, look, I feel like the girls are the money. What a sight for sore eyes. In fact, talking to sore eyes. And the girl doesn't exist, obviously. Day, and guess who I bumped into there? Absolutely everybody, because I couldn't see. <laughs> they got a laugh, haven't you, girls? You're a pig. All right, so let's have another act. Any more acts? Anyone who's not stuck on a fudging bus or something? Oh, look, the stripper's arrived. Oh, God. <laughs> Keep him over there. What? Okay, right, we need something else now, we don't, don't we? We need an act or something. Um, uh, girls, any callers we can put through? Actually, I have someone on the phone right now you might like to speak to. Absolutely fantastic. Put them through. And on top of that, he's been rather horrible to that little boy. She sounds about 100. L uh, hello there, and welcome. Then, 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 then welcome to the show. Uh, uh, what's your name, please? Who's that? It's Graham Bannon. You're horrible. Why has she been put through? Don't put one through to think I'm horrible, obviously. That might be a bit difficult. This is so crazy that everything I've done for all these people, I'm they still... still... Here. Why is she still there? Cut her off! We're not putting any more through. We're having another act. Hello? Let's just... Who is that? Stop putting people through! Uh, I'd like to donate a tunnel, please. Aha. We have a serious gentleman on now. Hello, sir. Did you say you'd like to donate a tenner? Hey, that's right. I'd like to donate a tenner. A tenner to the fund to stop Graham Bannon being on TV, huh? No, 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 don't play the laughs down! It wasn't funny! That was funny. Oh, so you think you could do better, do you? Hey, that's right. Okay! The stage is yours, go on! Tell a joke, tell a wee joke! Alright, I'll do the wee joke. How many Graham Bannon does it take to screw in the light bulb? Looking like this. That depends on the fee. No! <laughs> oh, that was good. No! 
We're not having horrible jokes. We're not doing any more of that. We're not having any more callers. I think they're stupid and also they seem drunk to me. You right, seem what's drunk. next? We another act. Where's the next act? We have sorted the monkey problem. This is brilliant. This is brilliant news, Raj. Bring it on. Uh, he's very shy. That's fine. That's fine. We can be. We're, we're dead fine. Bring it on. It want everyone to close the eyes for big reveal. Okay, right. Everyone, close your eyes for the big reveal. Don't ruin this. Girl. Close your eyes. We are ready. It's a very big. Okay. <laughs> you can open your eyes now. Okay. It's a very strong. It's so. It's carrying me on its back. And it's, love uh, his banana is offering banana to you. <laughs> he was not amused. No. No. Fudge! <laughs> oh man. No. That is not a real monkey. That is not a real banana, is it? And these are not your legs! Ouch. Ouch! Get off the stage! I'll give you ouch! Right, we need something else. It's time for another act. Where's the unicyclist? Get him on! have the bloody unicycle act. Swearing, apologies for that. Hopefully that gets censored by them. Graham, we've got the unicycle, but we don't have the, the guy That's who fine. rides it. That's fine! We don't need the guy that rides it! I'm the guy that rides it! That's bring it on! Graham, I, bring I, the I damn don't thing. think you should try. I don't care what you think! Bring it on! Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on! Bring it on. Bring it on. Ladies and gentlemen, for your pleasure, I will now be performing for you the unicycle act. Can I have a volunteer? No one's here. Yes, they are here. Hello, Yong. Right, okay, this is good. You'll like this, you'll like this. Right. Now, what I'm going to do now is grab the unicycle and jump over this asshole. Yep, very good. Right, okay. Start the music. Drum roll, please. Give me oh, this is not Protect good. Your face, mate. Yong. Okay. He's going to die. Oh. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, my I mean, he's kind okay. of deserves it. <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's not it. Okay, well, that's the act, I think. Ow, I don't think I can do that again. Um, that's the act. I suppose that's what happens if you pay peanuts. Uh, you, get, ow, you get monkeys. Well, don't you know, you don't always get monkeys, do you? Sometimes you just get someone wearing half a monkey costume where it looks like their legs are the monkey's legs, which apparently is just as good. So, um, so great, okay, so we need a rat, don't we? We need somebody else on here doing something. Do we have the strong man? That's what it says on the auto here, the strong man. Oh, 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 sorry, I don't want to be in the way of this. <laughs> it's Raj, isn't it again? Hey, it's we love good. Raj, dude. Is that good? Is that entertaining? That is, that's what very entertaining, want? actually. Raj doing that, laughing. This is gonna save a child's life! And speaking of saving a child's life, are we doing that? Has any more money been raised? How much more money's been raised? It's actually gone down a bit. People are asking for the money back, and I think you're scaring them. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Come on, do we are getting paid to update the score? Come on, put it down. Great. So the money pops down, and still less money. So even more to raise for the girl in the next five minutes. Brilliant. Right, what we need is to do a get-rich-quick scheme. Who's got some ideas? Ah, oh, I've got an idea. Just had it. Looking at these ladies. Lovely. I know what. Let's set up a little kissing booth. Nice little table, nice little cloth, little bit of lipstick. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Sounds good to me. Tenor a pop, right? I'm sure these lads would like it. They've been ogling them all evening, the perverts. That sounds good to me, right? So, how much for a kiss, ladies? No, Graham, you're bleeding. Does it? Ah, oh, don't be such a tease. Go on, Linda, puck it up, darling. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. I needed that. Well, I think we all needed that. <laughs> okay, well, that has gone wrong. No, I think it's actually gone, gone right. right. I'm sorry if that's my fault in any way. I don't know if it is. Got my... I think I know whose fault that might be. But there we go. What a shame. <laughs> what a shame. I'll level with you. Uh, it's, it's looking unlikely we're going to make the money. Haven't got long left. It looks like that might be the end for little Sally. 
it is actually Susie. Whatever. She'll be dead soon. And so will my career. So, uh, so two deaths in the same evening. And if you ask me, it'd be hard to weigh them. They're both equally sad deaths. Oh, well, well, that's the end of that. Uh, I suppose that's the end of the show, then. Uh, thank you very much. Graham! Graham! Great news. The monkey's turned up. Yeah, it's not the monkey, is it? It's just Raj or something pissing around. No, it is a real monkey. No, I haven't got time for this. It's obviously it's not a real monkey. Don't get my hopes up. It's not going to... Oh, my God! <laughs> is that James? Oh, my God! That is a real monkey. Yes! There it is! This James in a monkey suit. There it is! Ah, it's a real monkey! Now we can do the dance and save the show! Save my career! The girl! The, the girl. Come on! Just do the dance! Don't scratch your head, do the dance! <laughs> come on, do the dance! Come on, do the dance! Come on, come do on, just punch him! Do the dance there! Do I have to spell everything out to you? Put your arm in! Oh crap! No! No! <laughs> oh, Somebody shoot oh it! Somebody shoot it! Ow! Oh, Kill it! Oh, no! Stop. I've had enough! I'm the producer, I'm in charge, I want everyone to stop and listen to me. We've forgotten what's important here. A little girl's life's on the line. We're all acting like children. Listen up, do as you're told. Linda, Deborah, Barbara and Raj, get on the phones. We've still got enough time to get some donations, but we need all hands on deck. Uh, Young, I know you don't understand what I'm saying, but we will get you to a hospital as soon as the show is finished. Just hang in a little bit longer, okay? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you, Mr. Bannon, people used to look up to you as the face of national television. Look at you now, eh? You're full of crap. You better pull yourself together, son, because chimps, chimps don't dance for bastards. <laughs> We're all here, working together as a team to try and save somebody's life. Apologise to him, and ask him nicely to finish the show. <sighs> Chimpanzee, please, will you do your little dance to save the life of young Susie? You finally <sighs> got it right. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now, the little girl's life is on the line, and I've got just the job for you. Please donate to this worthwhile cause. We, we really can do some good here. It's like me old mam used to say. You can keep your money in your pocket, but people will call you a stingy cunt. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Peter Clement. I think producer. we have to censor that. Here to tell you that if we work together as a team, anything's possible. And that is a Peter Clement promise. Thank you and good night. Take it away. <laughs> And let's wait, let's see. Down the pub. <laughs> Pints on pizza, eh? Right? Right? We did it! We did it! Turns out, if you work as a team, you can do anything. Uh... Did you guys actually raise the money, or...? Oh, well. There's always next year. Oh, it is, it is at 20,000. Oh, wow. Broadcast complete.
Nice. Oh, we got a segment A, a plus. That's awesome. So, final grade. Hey, that's not bad. Outstanding censoring. Interference free. Editing was just... <laughs> we got the funds out of that. That's awesome. Well, I guess we passed a little, a little test. Uh oh. I think that's those are developers. Yeah, they are. <laughs> that's that's a little cool thing they do. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Gadzoops. This is like going all the way back. Episode two has been captured in the solo. <laughs> Oh man, I'm I'm so waiting for episode two. I know COVID definitely like put a damper on their schedule, so you know that's why it one it was one of the big reasons that it was delayed. Obviously, so hopefully with you know as time goes on, it'll be better. Yay! I love these little episodes, man. I, I feel like this game could go really, really far into doing those types of things where, you know, they could do this, you know, back in the 50s type of TV thing, like the, or the Fever Dream, you know, the, like the lockdown. You know, there's a lot more they could go in a creative way that, I, the possibilities of this game is probably like endless when it comes to scenarios, and I love that. Um, I'm gonna check out the challenge room actually. What is it? So, with, with this, now we're gonna be remembering uh, attraction audiences. So, I think this is just like realism mode. Wow. Challenges, what does that do? Oh, this is when the, sh the shocking happens. Bozeman has taken the power gate label to the mass screen with cost same measure. Wow. And this is like interference stuff, switcheroo. Okay. Censoring gone mad, so... <laughs> hey, I'm gonna check this out. So this is obviously the stuff that we played so far, I think, in the, um, in the main game. You know, however long, however many has been released so far. I think there's some branching paths that happen when um, when these broadcasts come on television, like the, I think one has to do with the ad that you play about that toy, th that dangerous toy. If you play it, even despite being warned, you get a different um, interview on one of the days. Let me see. So, all right, this is one of the challenge modes. I wonder what cosmetics you can actually unlock. Why is nothing lighting up? Was the power cable that's gone? I was gonna sign ring. But maybe the power cable is also gone in this. Okay, there we go. Damn, this is hard, dude. I'm performing later. That's all coming up on tonight. And there's the interference. <laughs> I forgot about all that. I forgot about the new segments. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a while to like to like get it. And this interference is probably gonna become challenging too if you play like the interference challenge. And I really, really I think that's like the, one of the hardest parts of the game. In the wake is of the government's swift part. enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act, we're talking about advances <laughs> first week in office and what the new future. Part of me does not want to censor. Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, or Alan James, author of Alan James is Right, The Free Man's Guide to Waking Up. Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels for delivering some of the legislation they promised. But what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves, we're just in prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't, no. I think that Vance have realised the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. There I agree with you. 
They're moving to the next steps in the grand plan. Grand plan, Alan? It's all in my book. Alan James is right, Jeremy. We're to become the great herd. Ignorant, sterile and short-lived. That's what they want. Or perhaps Advance have just realised that if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption, if you'll excuse the colourful metaphor. Yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is... It's all in his book! Promoting. Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance are the most disruptive threat that the world powers have faced since the last great war. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't And this I... will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking... Out of the wrong orifices? Mock me <laughs> right, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno-brainwashing, we'll be laughing then. That might be a great way to sell books, Alan, but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advance are radical, and change is always frightening, but the truth is that the Wealth and Assets Act has made more than 90% of the population wealthier and is on target to produce a permanent end to poverty. Bollocks! What this young lady doesn't understand, Jeremy, is that these are the same people. Maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilised the youth vote like we've never seen before. You say mobilise, I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily into eternal bondage. They're like psychic paedophiles. But based on the facts, Katie, what are your predictions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first step. Advance now have a historic budgetary surplus, and as well as properly funding our public services, they're already un they're already funneling unprecedented amounts into scientific research in the arts. Or, as I call them in my book, Franken Science and OP Arts. Like it's all in this book. See? Can we get back to the issue at hand, please, Alan? This is the issue. It's all coming from the water, the chemicals. They're pumping it full of belief juice. I'm Don't pumping it. I want to see these <laughs> changes, juice. only if they're sustainable. If Advance lose their power after spending half of That's our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, um, what does the future look like to you? A bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomized into submission. <laughs> of course. Katie, we might I did not need that image in my head, dude. World. God knows we need some change, but we need to be cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order before Megan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. One minute back! You know, I think they might do something. Challenge some complete, good. cool. I hope so too, Jeremy. And we got an achievement out of that. Oh, shut the fuck up, Alex. <laughs> I've never heard so much shit in my life. <laughs> yeah, I, the challenges are hard, man. Like, I definitely need to practice that. But I, I like it. I like this new little addition and, you know, whatever rewards that they might bring, especially once the game goes live into full release, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that you can buy, and even in the early access, there you can you, you can see some of the stuff that that'll actually help your gameplay out. Some of the stuff that you can buy, I think like you can only buy the satellite right now, which is uh, I don't remember what it actually does, but it does affect something, which I don't remember again. But yeah, once to, once episode two releases, I'm going to be all over this man. Uh, I really like this game, and again, there's there could be a lot of scenarios that the developers could achieve with this, and I, I think the possibilities are just endless, really. And I love it. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.